our goal. In the next couple of lessons, our goal is to make an engaging video, but because it requires some production, I will show you how to keep things organized so you can get the best out of your time. One of the perks of following my method is that you can outsource some of the work so you can finish faster instead of being only you the one that does all the work. You can outsource some of it. For example, if I'm not very good at drawing, then I can outsource some storyboards to one of my friends who happens to be very good at drawing. See? Okay, now let's see what we will accomplish in this course. Hi, this is Sydney for 2D Animation 101, and today I'm going to talk about language and communication. First of all, human language is about communication. As Richard Dawkins, evolutionary biologist, says, the human is the only living creature that has the ability to see into the future. That's thanks to the evolution of our brain. And thus, we can have complex imagination, thoughts. And those thoughts can be communicated through language. Not only thoughts, but complex emotions. And this is what I want to focus in this course. Emotions. The point of you enrolling in this course and watching these lessons is to get some insights on how to make your characters more alive and expressive. If you do character animation, then this is a must. You have to allow the audience to see what your characters are thinking. And most of all, they have to be able to see what they're feeling. In other words, People should witness how the character is telling us how they feel and what their intentions are, all without actually saying anything. We should see it in how they behave and express. If you have a little girl with a box of chocolates and the situation is that she's about to give them to the boy of her dreams, Bobby, you can clearly see how happy she is. Her smile, her eyes, her whole body is telling you that she is happy and wants to do something with that box. But then she sees a beautiful girl getting close to Bobby. And then they hug each other. Gosh, now her heart is broken. It all starts with her smile falling down. You can see her happiness dropping to the floor as she feels more miserable and more miserable. She feels humiliated. And she is not telling you, Hey, I feel miserable and humiliated. No, we don't have to hear that. Actually, having the character just say that would be super boring and obvious. Just having her suffer her pain in silence and showing us her emotions is enough. But it's our duty as animators to show her feelings in the way she behaves, the way she walks, the way she talks. For example, if you see the little girl like this and ask her, are you all right? It would be very interesting to hear her respond. Oh yes, just another perfect day full of joy. You can clearly see that her body language is contradicting her words, right? That's because she is telling us something about her body. We as animators are showing her emotions with her body. Okay, exactly this is what I want you to understand. So ask yourself, how can I move or pose the body of my characters? How can I make them show their emotions? They can be complex characters, anime characters, minimalistic characters, classical characters, super simple characters, it doesn't matter. There are multiple gestures that characters can use to show their intentions and feelings. And yes, all of these will be covered in this course. So, a quick review of this lesson. Human language is all about communication. And the objective of this course is to help you understand how you can make your audience see what your character thinks and feels using body language. In the next lesson, we will learn about the three components in human language. Words, voice, and body. All of them can say the same thing, or they can contradict each other. Interesting, huh? See you on the next lesson. Nice. Now, for those of you who want to follow along with the lessons and tutorials, you will need uh, the project files and Adobe After Effects, uh, and also some plugins. So check the next lessons in which you will have instructions to do just that. And after that, I will talk about the importance of making a transcript from the audio or working with your script. What we will do is a process called the breakdown.